giant chickens. Come on. Giant chickens. Giant chickens. <laughs> I'm excited about this rescue of these chickens because they're a really cool breed that grows like three feet tall. But they're getting used to our yard here and they're like trying to figure out what that train sound is. They were all freaked out. And now they're trying to find where the water is and get themselves oriented and stuff. So this is a good option for protection in, in your yard and they're called liege fighters and so they can protect your chickens and your goats from different predators and things. They are bred for fighting, but these ones aren't gonna be fighting uh, chickens. These are going to be chickens that help protect the other chickens on our property. Go ahead and grab him. I think he's gonna run and pick at me. Okay, hurry, corner him. You can do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, got him. Egbert, you huh? turned into a rooster. Now you don't get to have any fun. Because you're, you're a rooster. Let's see his, his feathers. We should probably clip them. Okay, Egbert, you are no longer a kitten. <laughs> you are now a pig. <laughs> All right, good luck. <laughs> Gonna get stuck in that fencing. <laughs> Forgot to give Doris her food. Hold on, you can just throw it up. Here you go. Yep. Egbert is definitely a rooster, so he's gonna start crowing here and then we're gonna have to rehome him because we don't like to wake up us and our neighbors at 3 a.m. with crowing. It's just not good. Okay, see you later, Doris. All right, the pigs are doing good, but I read somewhere that they don't do that well breeding wise until it gets cooler and so while we're at 115 degrees they're not feeling very romantic but they will when it gets cooler is tilly getting better with standing no she was just doing that leg thing a minute ago so i don't know why but when you squirt this tea like too much or too many times she like she just like holds it up there I was completely fine with it. She doesn't like pay attention to me milking wow. or anything like that. She just like holds it up. I don't know why. Well, it is her first year, so maybe her second year she'll do a little bit better. Oh my gosh, I see it! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Oh my gosh! That is so funny. Hold on, it's not focusing. It's not focusing. That is so funny. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That tail is getting kind of long. Maybe this is a boy. Maybe. <sighs> we need to read up on how we can tell female from male. All right. See you later, Tilly. Willow. Oh my, you're ruining everything, Willow. <laughs> She's just young. She doesn't know the rules yet. So when do we find out when Will is pregnant? Um, we find out August 3rd. Well, August 3rd is actually a weekend, so we're gonna find out um, like the 5th is when we can do the blood test. So, just a couple more weeks. So the first day of school. Are you excited to go back to school? Not really. <laughs> Do you want to be homeschooled? Not really. <laughs> 
So when our kids were little, we sent them to elementary school. And then about when Ethan was in fourth grade and Lydia was in second grade, I decided to homeschool. We were building our farm and it was like the perfect situation. These are our chickens. This one's name is Ruffles. This is Puffles. Yeah, I think this is... Uh... <gasps> Oh. Oh. There was nothing. Uh, Get that stick right there. It's just. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Gus Great. occupied. Yes. So, brought them home. We homeschooled, and then last year Ethan went to high school. So, um. So that was a fun experience. So when Lydia is high school age, maybe she'll decide to go. Go to East Kinnear. Yeah, come on. It. Oh, what the frick? Come here. Wow, what's this? It's blocking your way. You should try and go through there. No. Hey. Ducks' wings, do you think they can fly yet? Oh gosh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. They're still pretty small, huh? Even though they're huge. Their wings are really small. Yeah. They've got T-Rex, look at that. Yeah, they're definitely not big enough for us to let go. They have to be eight weeks old. You got a big old bill. Homeschooling was fun, but there's certain elements to high school that just make it fun. Like friends and girls. Yeah. <laughs> Alright Luna. Have a good day. Make friends. Make good choices. Don't bully too much. Bye. You'll notice lots of foam on the top of the milk and in this milk strainer when we've been milking really fast. We're trying to hurry. So we're going to a movie this morning with family. So we are trying to hurry as fast as we can. crazy that the fighting chickens are the most friendly yeah. <laughs> chickens on our farm. Yep, where they lived before. Oh, here's the rooster. Look at that. Well, I think, yeah, I think he's a rooster and I also think oh, that yeah. one's a rooster because he's huge. They've got pretty purple feathers. Look at that. How purple. So, we're going to have to get rid of those guys. We'll sell them to someone who likes roosters. Well, people, there's a lot of farm people around here who need protection. Oh yeah, and these get big three feet tall, so they'll protect you from anything. We could probably sell a breeding pair to somebody. Look how big his feet are, the roosters, man. Look at that. That's crazy. Here comes Ron. He's like, it's like bigger food. than my hand. That's not Ron. Oh, we're mom. Kevin, are you gonna start? Confusing the chick, uh, the pigs again. You say no, they're pigs, not chickens. So we have seven leash fighters. I'm not sure we're gonna keep all of them. I think we're gonna just raise them up here a little bit and then see if we can sell them to people who want to breed them. It's pretty crazy how big they get. So it'll be kind of fun to watch them grow up and see how big they're actually gonna get. Yeah. Oh, be nice. Ron.
abroad, but here in Arizona, we harvest our apples in the middle of the summer. Now, I kind of cheated because I bought this apple tree this year, so I didn't really nurture it all the way, but it's nice to have something fruiting that we can eat right now, instead of waiting for all of our fruit trees to actually get around to producing. Growing fruit trees is a really cool thing because it can produce fruit for you for years and years and years, but it also takes years and years to get them going. So every once in a while, it's nice to buy a more mature tree instead of waiting around for those small ones to start producing. This is a good strategy. This could work. Stops the baby goats from jumping in, maybe, we'll see. But it catches the hay and then we give it to the pigs. So even if they do poop in there, Pigs don't care about the poop. But won't Ron like jump up and pull it out? Let's see. He's looking at it, he's like, hmm. He'll figure it out. Pigs are. I can tell. Pigs are super thinking about intelligent. It. I mean, they're way more intelligent than goats. Any little sound you make, he knows what's happening. He's like, you do something over there. He knows what's going on. Uh. Now all the other goats can't get it. He did it. Hey Kevin, look at what he did. Garbage. 